they pay them. This morning, we are going to deal with them. I will not go back home to say in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us open our Bible. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1. Start from 15 to 28, first reader. Our study topic is 27 and 28. We need to read. First reader. 1 Samuel, chapter 1. We can start from verse 15 because of our time to 28. Breaking evil dedication against your life and your family, destiny, marriage, moral life. First Samuel chapter 1, let's read that from 15 to 28.
because I have been dedicated to him. I should be blessed here, I have been dedicated. And you can take advantage of those things. Why God send a prophet to Bethel in first King chapter 13 to go and speak against the altar by Jeroboam in Bethel because that Bethel has been dedicated. I should be the better I be dedicated to God that you sacrifice you prosper. That's why it's good to dedicate our life to Christ as a child of God. Even Christians, our forefathers, they are not Christians. As long as they are not Christians, they have served one duty and the other. And they have dedicated everybody, even our born children, to those idols. And now we are, we are no more serving them. But they still speak. They are still demanding for our worship. Because somebody has said something to them. As we said, anything that is dedicated to God, please. Why the other one will be decreased? Anything dedicated that has power to secure that thing. That's why many people now going back to tradition. We see them carrying power up and down, going to live and go and sacrifice. Because of what? You can open up, somebody try it and it works. Somebody try it and it works. They have their own power, but it's not genuine and it's not everlasting.
We are going to see the good one. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. And she vowed a vow and said, O oh Lord of hosts, if thou shalt indeed look on the affliction of the handmaid, and remember me, and not forget the handmaid, but we give unto the handmaid a maid child, then I will give him back unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. This is a declaration that a man, a woman, a mother made. Which is a good one. Which many of us and our forefathers have made, but they did not fulfill it. They did not fulfill this words. Many of them did it to idol. We are talking of good dedication. This one is good dedication. I can make a vow to God that if you can give me this child and ask him up, I will give the child back to you. I think 
speaking upon our life. Any evil dedication speaking against our life and our family, they break this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If our tribes set to escape you, to escape, you must be brought back. Like God in Bethel. For you to outright, it's our say to escape from, to escape, you must brought back. For you to escape the evil dedication, you must brought back yourself. The same way Bethel was brought back to God. Your parents have sold you, have sold you away. We buy a new bag. We bought back. Say every evil dedication against my head has smashed you to pieces in the name of the way. People lay our hands upon our heads and make this declaration several all time. Because we don't know the area we have been dedicated to, knowingly or unknowingly. And it said like this every evil dedication. Your business, your, your career, your destiny. 